Franken Tune Franken Tune Studio What the back? Hello and welcome. This is Enrique from Franken Tune Studio. Today I want to show you the second set of macros from our Splat Image Degrader Kit for Affinity, which is called Splat Flat Process. Splat Flat Process is a small set of macros aimed to add a vintage treatment to flat images like JPEGs and such. This means you can transform an illustration, logo, design or photo into a vintage piece of art. Remember that macros are only available for Affinity Photo. Well, without any further ado, let's get started. This step is straightforward. It will separate your single layer into four CMYK color plates. Then, let's apply pure red as a spot color to emulate vintage printers, which used special direct inks. Spot red damage will add an adaptable procedural texture to your spot red layer. Now, our red layer has a lower quality to it. Apply blue as a spot color will track all tones closer to pure blue. Let's add an organic feel to these blue tones using the spot blue damage macro. You can play around with the settings to see how much damage you want to inflict to your blue layer. Click Apply when done. Now, onto the screening process. Alternatively, Screening plus Y adds the option to set the size of yellow dots. I won't be using this macro today since I want to keep my yellow tones unaltered. Misaligned spot colors will shift your plates automatically for more authentic handmade look. Check out how this step makes colors bleed through each other and adds a lovely texture overall. Finally, Vintage Printer Light Edition will even out our entire artwork, washing out all colors, adding some paper grain and a sweet antique color grade overall. You can play around with the settings to see what looks best on your artwork. Apply when finished. From now on, you are free to explore all layers, deactivate them or dim their opacity to attenuate their effect on your final image. Finally, I'll be adding a couple of textures included in Splat's Vintage Papers Assets Library. Move them to the top to affect all layers and set their opacity to your liking. You can add two or more textures to add variation. We've gone from this to this in less than three minutes. For the following sample, we'll be repeating the steps we've seen before, still we'll be using a simple logo instead to see what happens. Apply a single film separation macro to get started. Then apply red as a spot color. Now goes spot red damage. Let's increase ink damage in pores density just a bit. And apply. Now let's apply blue as a spot color. OK. And let's add some damage to our spot blue layer as well. Ramping up intensity will add some wet edges effect to the borders. Repeat screening and increase the dot size to make them perfectly visible. About 12 pixels should be enough. 
then misaligned spot colors. Looking great. And finally, Vintage Printer Light Edition. Adjust the controls if needed and hit apply. Again, you can add one or more textures to have a more interesting result. Adjust their size, positioning, and opacity to taste. This flat flat process allows you to experiment not only with traditional comic style setups, but with any image you can imagine. Franken two, Franken two, Franken two, Franken two, Franken two, Franken two. 